I'm fucking ready. Let's do this show. Let's do this bullshit. Let me just close the door one second. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do this bullshit. Okay. It's already started. That's that was the start. Hey, go oh, look at the gas. This is the drop of duties. Guild Wars 2 podcast slash not Guild Wars 2 this week. <laughs> for the week of, uh, what, November 24th for you guys? But it's going to go up at, like, November 25th or something. Something like that. After the Thanksgiving weekend. How is everyone doing? Nubarama, how are you doing? Fuck you, Netherlands! <laughs> what? That's all I need to say. What? You, Netherlands. Why, why are you saying fuck you to the Netherlands? So... The Netherlands invaded my humble country of Belgium, and they got a fucking ass whooping. So now I own half of Netherlands. Fuck you, Netherlands. I thought you always played Canada. Um, I I wanted to mix it up a bit. Canada gets kind of boring. What what game is this again? A Victoria Two. It's the same game. It's the same game. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't be. I should not be talking. I've been playing. Yeah, it. says the person who's playing Rayplay. Jesus. <laughs> For like the fifth time hey. through. Thank you very much. You're going to have to cut that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's going to be cut. This is going to be an ultra short episode. Um, wait, Thanksgiving's happened, and apparently Americans do stuff on Fucking Thanksgiving. Fucking Thanksgiving was last month, and it was on a Monday. <laughs> the real it Thanksgiving. Was not, it was not your dirty Canadian Thanksgiving. <laughs> Why are you here, Revan? What, what is this? How are you not with, like family, etc. Doing things. Because they are asleep. Oh, uh, wait, what? That's a good point. What? Where are you? What? I thought you were... That was like midday or some shit. Where are you again? 10 o'clock at night. Okay. Wait. That's, did, that's still pretty early. But you previously said when... Just before the podcast that you were doing fractals and you had inverted commas all day to do this. What? Yeah, as an all day, I have until 7 p.m. tomorrow. Oh, right. Okay. Oh. All right. Cool. So how you been doing, Rev? Revan's also joining us today. I wasn't expecting him to. This is going to be like a, a non-Americans podcast, but apparently Revan has no yeah. life. So we are going to do a Commonwealth Fest. Common <laughs> Fest? I don't know what you would call it. Well, I'm technically not in the state, so... Wait, where are you now? Washington, D.C. Oh, <sighs> fuck you. <laughs> It's not a state. <laughs> yeah, it's District of fucking Columbia. That, see, I was searching for something interesting. Like, you, you were in, like, the Singapore, like, military compound or some shit like that. But that wouldn't make sense, I guess. You're in, high, you're in uni, right? What says right now, if I'm, host, if I'm hosting this Skype call from the Singapore military compound and I still have a better internet connection than the two you, of you, that, that is sad. That would still be probably pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's, in, not even my even connection. Know. It's the pipes from... Australia to the US that are fucked. That they're just terrible. They're like pipes, a billion yes. years old. The physical fucking pipes. I'm I am like actually not shitting you. Shit. That is the truth. It is the physical fucking pipes that are our bottleneck. Yes. Um What were you what were we saying? Oh yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to Nip Rev in a second. Nubarama, what have you been doing for your non Thanksgiving weekend? My non Thanksgiving weekend has been um exploiting the fact that there's Black Friday in the U.S. and I bought video games. <laughs> Wait, you can order off their Amazon? No, well, I bought it must Steam. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, there you go. I, and, I, I and, and Black apparently Black Friday has been catching on in Canada, so there's actually a bunch of sales happening in Canada, which is pretty weird. That is that is yeah. really weird Be- because which is a good thing for here. Hell yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah. But I don't know. We Cheap already stuff. have Boxing Day. Wait, Woo! wait. Do you guys have Boxing Day in your countries? Yes. I is it a big mm-hmm. sale day there too? Uh, oh? yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty big sale day yep. here. Boxing Snuggles? Day is like the Black Friday of Canada, basically. Boxing but now we day have two. for Black us Friday. would be... It's more of a holiday. I'm not sure if stores can open all day on Boxing Day. I'm pretty sure they can't. Um, because for us, like, a bunch of holidays out, like, we have, like, for example, Anzac Day and stuff like that, which you wouldn't know about, but don't worry about it. Um, that's, that's the military thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, well See, done. I knew that. Fuck you. Surprise, New Barama knows about military stuff. Well, I, I did <laughs> doubt you a second ago. I shouldn't have. How about that? Um, but yeah, for, for the, like those holidays, we can't... Like, a bunch of our stores just can't open. Like, well, they're, or they're charged for opening because the policy here oh, wow. is for um, people to spend that time with their families. So, like, straight up. It's, cra- it's, cra- it's crazy cool in some ways, but 
I've also had the situation where I woke up on New Year's Day and nothing was fucking open and I needed milk. So I had to like <laughs> drive around to see. A so place what, you, what did open. you do? Uh, well, I, some, I think family stores, like really small places, don't get charged. So okay. I, I found like a corner store. This was years ago, so I don't really remember, but because it was, I was, it was, I was fucking wasted. It was New Year's, but I think I'm pretty sure I found a corner store and got milk there. Um, I didn't even know why I needed milk. I was at a friend's house. Why was I getting milk? It's a mystery for another day. How so? <laughs> So what were what were we saying just a second ago? New Rama, uh, Black, Black, Black Friday. Black Friday. What games Canada you buy? Games. What games do you buy? I didn't buy a single game. I bought five DLC packs. You, you, oh, okay. What? what so DLC I bought I bought a House Divided, which is the DLC for Victoria Two, which is why I'm playing it as of now because okay. I bought it like an hour ago. All right. And then I bought all four of the um, what is it called? Fuck Fallout New Vegas DLCs that I hadn't bought. Yeah, and I and I also rebought DefCon. I I got DefCon for free from like Green Man Gaming or something like that because right. they had like a free promotion going on. Get DefCon for free, right? And then I'm like, fuck, it's on sale. Why? What would I lose from buying a Wait, free which game? Which was DefCon again? Don't... Is that the one with the? That's the one with the nukes. The... I thought Lots that was a free game anyway. Wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It's not a free. But game. But so lo-fi. Like, what? How much do they charge for that? <sighs> Five, ten dollars. That I don't it's know. It's worth it. Oh, it's a good game, I've oh, heard. It's but it's a great game and hell whatever. So I just bought it for two fifty. Holy was... shit, Mass Effect Two is six dollars. Yeah, everything dirt cheap. Wow, dirt cheap. I didn't. I didn't check Steam. I have not done anything but Persona Four for days. So this is all news to me. Aside from that, do you do anything? I, you guys. So what do you do for your normal Thanksgiving? Is that like? Um, a- Turkeys and stuff. Like, do you guys do that thing? Is, I I'm I don't celebrate Thanksgiving because that's not like a turkey and ham. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> with mayonnaise. With mayonnaise. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. Wait, so you, your family disgusting. doesn't? Your your family doesn't really do the whole Thanksgiving yeah. thing. Well, it's like we exploit the fact that everything's off and we just get to stay at home. But other than that, nothing really happens yeah. on. Giving. It's like how our we give Christmas. thanks for not going places or going to work or going to school or doing anything. Thanks for lying around and lazing. <laughs> Plus, um, it's the Monday off, so it's a three-day weekend, which is a hell of a lot smarter and better than a fucking Thursday and then go back and then, yeah. No, we take the Friday off as well. <laughs> oh, what? That's cheap. That's yeah, like they, that's they stay up to have a four-day weekend. It's crazy. But for them, it actually... Oh, what does Thanksgiving mean to the Canadians? Like, what's the origins of it for you guys? Um, I believe Thanksgiving didn't exist as holiday until 1950. So I don't really know what the meaning of Thanksgiving is in Canada. <laughs> Let's find it, out. It's not the same, is it? That wouldn't make sense. No. There's no pilgrims here. There's no Puritans or any of that shit. <laughs> um, so... On Thursday, January 31st, 1957, the Parliament of Canada proclaimed a day of general thanksgiving to Almighty God for the bountiful harvest in which Canada has been blessed to be observed on the second Monday in October. Just to be different. So, those, those are like fine print just yeah. below that statement. Um, I think it corresponds with like the English thanksgiving festival or harvest the festival Harv- oh, okay harvest festival harvest festival and then it's like oh thank america has thanksgiving let's have thanksgiving too but have it no meaning and yeah <laughs> let's have it have no meaning what? right no real meaning I like swear. as you can see from that government statement that had no actual meaning so whatsoever I could, I could be incredibly wrong here but mm. i'm pretty sure we have absolutely no equivalent to any of these holidays like we have christmas we have boxing day that's pretty much all i can think of in this like this stretch for us halloween isn't even a thing really because we don't really have too much in the way of trick-or-treaters or anything like that so it's just not are too far apart <laughs> no one wants to walk two miles to get some candy <laughs> or just go to a fucking store. they don't live in houses and, the, oh, and it's the middle of summer so that sun like that that two mile walk under that fucking outback sun it's cr- killer just killer mm. revan hello how how you been doing? How's how's your day? I've been good. That's cool. Well, what did you do this weekend? It's, it's Thanksgiving, for uh, you, right? You you are you are an American ass American, I guess. So, yes. Well, uh, how I, does it feel to have a weird Thanksgiving day that doesn't really belong? 
<laughs> I'd like to know your opinion on that. So the Canadians have fine. the Harvest Festival equivalency. You got nothing, is what he's saying. Well, they do have some sort of weird thing going on with I thought it had Indian. to do with, yeah, I thought it had to do with American Indians. That that's my and limited then, understanding. It's like let's give thanks for killing American Indians. Yeah, yeah, what <laughs> what say you? What say you? Wait, isn't is wasn't like the thing let's let's give thanks for having ripped off the American Indians? Like, isn't that No, it was let's thank the American Indians for saving our asses. Oh really? What's it so what is it about? Oh. I I don't know. I legitimately don't know the origins of Thanksgiving. The Native Americans taught the pilgrims how to survive on a, on the soil because they oh, wow. brought a bunch of. They were not prepared for the winter, and, and how and what they could grow on this soil. And the Native Americans taught them everything, and then they proceeded to kill the Native Americans <laughs> years later <laughs> and took them off their land. Uh, it's but, brutal efficiency. But we forget this is what about happens, that. Man. You know, you know, you know. They say. Teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime, but that, that man will kill you. <laughs> That's exactly what uh, happens. Teach a man to fish, and he will kill you. And or oust him from his fishing pond. <laughs> yes. Oh, and put fuck. you on reserves. <laughs> so what did you do to celebrate the ousting of the American Indians this weekend? Eh. Eh? A bunch of turkey and ham. Oh, really? Uh, so, so you do the full turkey thing? Yeah. How's well, that? Because there, there was only three of us, so we didn't have like a big, big turkey. So, oh, I, 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 can't, I still can't even picture it because, my, again, my only insight into that would be like holiday specials. I, I swear, there's a fucking million Thanksgiving movies out there. They have like no fucking resonance with me. I always pictured Thanksgiving as like straight up the turkey thing. I thought it was Christmas for most of my life. <laughs> Turkey Christmas? <laughs> yeah. oh, I, Christmas like, turkey is a thing. Is it a yeah. thing? Yeah. I, 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 just, I just thought it was like I, me misremembering. I have had a turkey at Christmas before. Okay, but in, but in usually Japan, cake. But what is the what's the normal Christmas thing? I am Christmas tree. Christmas oh, turkey ham. is a thing. Is a thing. Christmas turkey. Like, Christmas turkey really thing. Christmas ham is a big thing. That's the thing. Well, here. Christmas Christmas doesn't have like it's own meal thing christmas is more about other shit like presents and well, stuff christmas is yeah. a made-up holiday I, I guess so, jesus but i don't know like I, wasn't even a yeah. day off till re- like what, does anyone know when christmas started being a day off uh i think it was always a day off wasn't it yeah but that well, doesn't make, but I, I, as if like I, it wouldn't have been for until at least i bet the what 18th century that wouldn't be a thing as if I thought Christmas was like that date and all that crap was made up relatively recently. What? No, Santa Santa Claus is relatively recent, but like Christmas was big considering how religious Europe was. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I I'm not a Christmas expert. I haven't <laughs> studied Christmas, so I can't. Oh, fruitcake is this Christmas thing? Eggnog, fruitcake, etc. You want to break are... your fucking teeth? What? What? I, I love fruitcake. Oh. Fuck, I hate fruitcake. Fruitcake is probably my least favorite thing about all of Christmas. And, like, this period of the year, it is the most disgusting thing. I hate fruitcake. I cannot stand fruitcake. That reminds me of one big question. What the fuck is it like spending Christmas in burning heat? Because I don't, I can't comprehend Dude, it is so the idea hot right of now. A Holy shit. yellow, deserty Christmas. But I, I, just before the podcast, I, I had to shower. And when I got out of the shower, it was, like, five degrees hotter than when I went into... It is now... <laughs> Christ. It, it is oh, now Jesus. 32 degrees Celsius. Um, what? Let me let me check. What the? F- I oh, swear it wasn't like this just earlier today. Let me. Let me I'm just gonna do the Celsius to, to Fahrenheit comparison. So let. What's your? I, I, this podcast doesn't really have like a point. We don't really want to talk about Guild Wars Two because this weekend we think that because fuck fucking. you, Guild Wars Two players. We don't give a shit anymore because <laughs> we all quit Guild Wars Two, didn't we? That that that's not the case, but. Oh. Um, Duran's not here. Like he's like the new real host dude. He'll be back next week, and he'll probably lead you through what's happened the last two weeks, including what happened last week with the crazy event and all that crap. But this, I, I mean, the crazy event that caused forums and Reddit to explode. These yeah. people were so mad. <laughs> yeah, uh. yeah. I, I. We'll talk about it next week. We'll talk about it next week when when people are actually here. Um. So I, we had two op- We have two options for today. I wanted to do, because I thought it was just going to be me and Noob, um, an anti-Thanksgiving podcast, because we don't do Thanksgiving, at least not right now. Yeah. So it's going to be 
what just airing your grievances like yeah. what do you what do you Fuck hate in this world um yeah the other option is to do like just a thanksgiving acts thanksgiving podcast where we talk about what we like so right, we can what, do both i we think can do both what we hate and what then fo- what we like then follow by what yeah. we hate yeah how about that yeah all right like sure wait wait but, so continue on with like the heat the blistering yeah, no, heat I, 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 of I, christmas I, I said that so you could fill time while i look when i look up the conversion oh. between 30 degrees yeah go so what 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 do you like about stuff nubarama um, I like, I like it when, when, um, good stuff happens. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of one off the top of my head, all right? Okay. Oh my okay. god. I'm concentrating all of my chi into the part of the brain where I give a shit and care about things, and it's not working, so go. 87.8 degrees Your turn. Fahrenheit. It's 87.8 degrees Fahrenheit. It took me that okay, long. here's my thing. Um, How I'm not that. thankful that Christmas isn't a blistering hellhole in Canada. Instead, it's a frosty, frozen over hellhole in Canada. <laughs> Negative thirty degrees. Jesus, Woo! that's that's well, well, literally well, not, the flip. That's, that's like crazy heights, but normally it's like negative ten to twenty. Oh man, I, I, Celsius. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the coldest I've been in Sydney is about. Four degrees Celsius. You've never gone into the negatives. That's nuts. Not in Sydney. It's, it's about zero. It's hovering around negative one right now. In Canberra, I, I, it would be like which is our capital? I, what the? What's Those that? Not oh, Canberra. 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 Yeah. Um, <laughs> Noob knows your capital better it, than you yeah. do. I, I think <laughs> I've well, been, I studied capital when I was in grade three. It's, it's Canberra, you fucking retard. It's 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 <laughs> being it's like <laughs> minus four. I think I was there when it was minus four. So that's about as cold as I've ever been, aside from in the actual snow. So just like in my day to day living, minus four, which is kind of great. Australia is. Or- oh. I- I'm thankful for Australia being a blistering hellhole some of the time. But I don't understand. Like it's like a nice winter scene. Everyone's coming home for Christmas. Oh, dude, yeah. it's snowing. Yeah. The Christmas decorations. I I, I don't know. The crazy Weird. thing about that is, like, I have never experienced that. But when I think about Christmas. I you think, still of think that. about that. Yeah. Like I've been so you see in movies. Where the hell do you see a hot Christmas in movies? Exactly. What the fuck? If it's something I hate about Christmas, I can't like our Christmas doesn't register. It is like the shitty Christmas <laughs> in the world. Because I when I think of Christmas, I think of when I was a kid watching Christmas specials on TV in the middle of the fucking day. But those Christmas right. specials would be filled of people in the snow making snowmen, making like fucking Snow angels and shit, having huge dinners with like all their family. We don't eat like that here. We have our Christmas here is us in indoors primarily with like an AC on if you have one. In my case, just a fucking <laughs> fan and it, just like eating Doritos. Some shit. It's just not. It's not even Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry fucking wait, wait, Christmas. So do you guys everyone. have? A, do you guys is Santa Claus a thing then? Uh, Santa Claus is a thing. We do the is, presents. Then is he dressed in like a t-shirt and shorts? Oh god, people are so okay, all right. I need, I need I need to clear this up. So, you open presents on Christmas morning, right? That's that's yeah. how it works. Okay? Mm-hmm. Revan, do you agree? Uh, I usually open mine about 2 minutes after it turns midnight to Christmas, but sure. Fantastic. Yeah. So, although I usually just get my gifts around the 5th of December and then the Christmas doesn't happen <laughs> in my household. I so will I, like... have I will have one of my Christmas gifts this Wednesday. Oh, so so people here are so backwards that they think Boxing Day means opening the presents. Because <laughs> boxes, am, right? I am not <laughs> kidding you. Boxes. It is so bad. So yeah, we don't have a real Christmas. It is kind of crazy. I, I, That's kinda sad. I've I've had to have discussions. I've had to wiki things for people to prove to them that Boxing Wait, Day so, isn't for opening. So presents. are there a lot of people? Is that like the accepted thing in Australia, or just some people do this? There's some people are just fucking stupid. That that's well, it's not even that. Just them, them and their entire families are just stupid. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, God. yeah. So that's our my Christmas is me sitting at home yearning for the white Christmas that I, that will never happen to, unless <laughs> move the, to Canada, man. Have you seen the movie The Day After Tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, so in that movie, they speculate that uh, well, the, the entire thing is like fast forwarded global warming, right? And the crazy yeah. thing about global warming is in Australia, it's going to cool. So they speculate that in whatever X amount of post global warming world. 
Australia will have will just be fucking blanketed in ice. I cannot wait for that to happen. <laughs> So I can finally have my goddamn white because that's not gonna happen any time between here and there. Oh, Unless man. I go to the states for like a holiday, it isn't gonna happen. It's kind of sad. Wait, so do you guys do you guys have decorations outside? Um, so the sad thing is, um, <laughs> some people do like the full Christmas decoration thing <laughs> with like reindeer and like all that kind of shit. Christmas lights is that a thing out there? People like have. Outdoor Christmas lights. People oh, have God. Christmas lights, but they also have fucking inflatable snowmen. <laughs> <laughs> Not many. Like, I, I will admit, I've only seen this a couple of times, but when I have, I had to stop. I had to stop and stare at how fucking stupid that is. Because it's like, how did... Not, not, do you see the world around you? Do you see the temperature... <laughs> Off the, do you see the steam rising from me and everyone around me? Um, yeah, oh so, so people definitely do the decoration thing. We we do. Some people get into it and like they have it all over their house, like on the roof and stuff. But which is which is cool. Like I commend them for the effort. It's just when it goes a bit overboard, like people fucking doing stupid shit like that. What I mentioned before. My issue is when people leave it up until March. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's the worst thing. Well, like especially with Halloween. I could walk down my street right now, and there are people who haven't taken down a single one of their pumpkins or their Halloween decoration. <laughs> Fuck you, month. Month. Oh, when do you guys take down your Christmas tree? I take it down like at three weeks after. I, I, I leave it off for a while. I like the Christmas tree; it's pretty. The last time I had an actual Christmas tree in my house was about three, seven. No, not three years ago. Seven years ago. Are you fucking Timmy from? No. no. <laughs> no, like, is that, that that's a dark just... secret? Like, if, if if this was what the fuck, like, a Christmas Carol, you are Timmy. That that is just how it just went down. <laughs> no, it's Tiny not Tim. that. It's just... Tiny Tim. There like, you go. Thank I, you. I do all of the Christmas thing. We we my me and my dad go to Christmas, um, or my mom, depending on who I'm staying with, go to like Christmas mass, and it's like Christmas, yay! The gifts have been opened a month earlier, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> and then we enjoy our Christmas, but there's just no Christmas stuff. It's just Christmas because it's Christmas, and Christmas is Christmas. I don't. Christmas. I don't think that counts. I, I'm. I'm pretty sure that doesn't count. Christmas is all about like every, everything adds to Christmas. Like when in our like October, no, around now. So you'd be October, late October, November, that kind of period. Shit, it's almost the end of November. Holy crap! Um, I didn't. Even, I man, I've been so out of it. Anyway, so when we go into the shopping malls, like this is this is like the number one indicator in Australia. If you go into a shopping mall. And they put up the Christmas decorations. That's when you put up your Christmas decorations because it's like the equivalency. Because they start selling so you, that stuff. So you put your Christmas decorations up now. Yeah, right now. I- yeah, uh, well, indoors, and then uh, and you start thinking about erecting your tree mid midway through December. Usually, all the Christmas decorations are up. Um, and then it depends after that. Like some people take them down like the day, like Boxing Day again through absolute lunacy. Um, or uh, maybe a couple of weeks after we 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 wait a, a couple of weeks because we don't really do too much. We just do a tree and like a couple of things here and there. We don't we don't do too much over here. But so, but yeah, I, I, we definitely have the people who leave it up to March or whatever the fuck. I hate those people so much. Ugh. Oh man, I contemplated um, just walking another... over there kicking their sh- kicking that shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just steal it. That's a, that's like the best <laughs> way. Just just take that's it all. Scummy way. You left it out, so whatever. It's mine now. <laughs> Um, just a note, I've had my third potato blight in the last decade, and what? I keep on losing about a thousand people a month. That's great. So are you controlling Ireland? No, I'm controlling <laughs> Belgium, but it's somehow Ireland moved to Belgium in mainland Europe. But continue, continue. Is Sorry. Belgium huge on potatoes in real life? I, I have no idea, but it just said potato blight. And then one time it had two potato blights within a month, and then I lost about... Uh, Five hundred thousand people. What the fuck is a, pl- a potato year. blight? It's when potato. It's like a potato infection or something. Apparently, it's and when your it potatoes don't starts. grow well. Yeah, and then your potatoes that no potatoes, no food because food is potatoes. <laughs> so, so you have a nation of people living off potatoes. <laughs> yeah, apparently. because the Irish, <laughs> the Belgian Irish. I yeah, those guys. Any, the I apologize yes. to any Irish man. I may have offended. <laughs> Uh so Revan, what 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 are you yes. thankful for or what do you hate? Uh I'm thankful for stable internet now that I'm home. 
Oh man, yeah, you're hosting this call. It's it's smooth yeah, sailing. Your internet was terrible a while back. Yeah, do that. Have you got LCU on your phone? No. Noob. Yeah. No, you just got to. Fu- I hate you. Do I what? Uh, I was gonna ask if you had LTE uh, on I your phone. LTE, yes. Really? Actually, wait. What is what is LTE? What? Just. Dude, I don't know a lot about phones. Oh, really? It's like, it's like a step above 4G. I wait. No. No. I, no. Are you? In the for in the are you male in the age bracket of eighteen to thirty five? Yes. Why do you not? God damn it, Revan! Oh my god! Where, I so, don't care much about phones. I, 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 guess. No, no, I no, guess. But it's like it's like you know it's like the Wi Fi's and the three Gs and like the internet and then it's like World Wide Web and then boom, LTE. That phone that phone is literally just to keep me awake during classes. <laughs> <laughs> what phone Wait, you what phone do you phone? have? Yeah. Uh, uh, 4S. Okay, so you have the capability, I believe, yeah. unless I'm mistaken, for LTE. Yeah, 4S. Four, four, uh, is it 4S LTE? I, I don't know. I think so, right? They have to have I that think, in there by I, now. I, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, may, maybe not. Who the fuck? I, I'm in Australia. Considering we I, have so I don't know. the internet within our fingertips and we're recording this within podcast. Within your fingertips. That's internet, how that goes. You yeah. can just use it. <laughs> um... So LTE is yeah, it's much faster. Like for, for I, I didn't even live in the states, and I and we don't really have LTE here, at least not yet. Um, but I, I know what's about. So if you get about four to five times the speed from LTE on your phone, like people have said that if you move from your phone's internet to Wi-Fi, you don't even know the, really know the dis- difference if you're in a good LTE spot. I'm not sure if Washington has it yet though. It's, it rolls out like to to I'm my in knowledge, Toronto and it has it here. Well, yeah, you. Oh, wow, one of the biggest states. It's a cities in North America. Canada. Yeah. yeah, has has LTE. I'm pretty sure we don't though. So I I am so thankful for faster internet. Do you guys remember? Do they the time? have it in Canberra? Uh, I don't think we have it in Australia yet. No, I think they're just rolling it out now. But yeah, do you guys remember the time when you had slow internet? Noob, have yeah. you ever had slow internet? Um, wait, like internet, internet, or phone internet? Because I don't so, internet, really internet. use phone internet. Internet, internet. Um, okay, up until like 2008, I'd had download speeds of like 500 kbs. So yes, I know the... F- and Dude, I still not, have... That's internet. not that bad. That's not that... Do you, do you remember... Uh, no, sorry, not 2008. When did I move? So like, until 2011, I had that oh, bad sh- internet. And then now, <laughs> and then now, you know what my download speed is? What? About 1.4 megabytes per second. That's... Yeah, that's pretty good. That's solid. That's solid net. But no! It, I have friends who are getting like... I don't know. Megabytes I, I or megabits? Yep. Yeah. Mega, mega, like mega. No, it's like when I'm downloading a game off of Steam, I'm it's getting megabytes per second. Four. Yeah. Okay, that's not that bad. That that could be worse. I, I I'm only it could about be worse, but it could I'm very well be well. better. Yeah, it could it could be much better. But in in it could be Google Fiber. Oh fuck yeah! But so but that the internet bill for that is a hundred or is sixty something dollars. Yeah. So it's not very good. No, it's it's incredibly good. Google- you live on an island. Somewhere in the world that no one knows. So Google you Fiber? and my not. Are you calling Google Fiber? People... Wait, no, I, which are you calling not very good? Google Fiber or your shit? What? Which are you not calling? Are you calling not good? Google Fiber or your stuff? My stuff. Oh, okay. I'm not on Google Fiber. Right. What? No, no, no one's on Google. Oh, barely anyone's on Google Fiber. Bar- Bar- Durin, 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 Durin could be on Google Fiber. He could be, but yeah. he's not. Not he's not yet, at least that we know of. Um, but you know I. I remember 56k. Like for me, my early high school, I'd say till around year seven. So I guess it'd be middle school, or whatever in the states, um, or year eight. And all of my like years, like primary, like that entire period of my life, primary school, i.e., also known as getting into pornography for the first time in your life. Um, primary school, that great. Would, yeah, that would be that. That would. T- 56k that was it like that that was my internet it was the craziest time um i I, okay so we used to have this thing where um it wouldn't just it it would would be me and a couple of friends we 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 totally just like have to share stuff on fucking floppy disks not not even i'm not even talking about just pornography here but like ds roms and stuff like that no well it wouldn't be ds back then it would be it would be like it would be snes roms yeah 
Well, it, it wouldn't would be, be a Game Boy. There's no, no there was no way in hell you were still using floppy disks for Game Boy ROMs. Game Boy, yeah, yeah in, 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 in like early 2000. It would no, I'm talking about primary school. It would be 1999, 1990. Yeah, yeah, early 2000, late 90s. That's not that's, floppy, is that's, it? That's that was floppies. Well, floppies oh, was I guess, still a valid well, like, form of media. Back then, transfer. when I was in Korea, that was definitely a floppy era in Korea. Well, so, that, and cassettes well, bit were big wasn't in Korea because still. Floppies were state of the art. It was because we still had computers that we'd owned since 1996, right? Or whatever. Okay, and that makes sense. Yeah, and so we we'd have had that. Like that was the only thing we had. Like, we didn't have DVD burners. I had to in, like Google search back then. I didn't even know it was Google. I'm pretty sure it was Yahoo. I had to Yahoo search what was it a DVD ask? burner? Was. No, sorry, a CD burner was. It was was it ask? I, I don't know. I don't know. There's there's something there was a dog. There was like dog something as well. I forgot what it was. Anyway, so yeah, we I, I remember having to physically transfer files to one another using media back then to like to play games. I, that was I I love having fast internet now. It, it just changed the world. It absolutely changed the world. Even in my short lifetime, like comparatively short lifetime. So I, that's why I was like interested in knowing. Do you guys ever? Do you remember how it was like to have fifty six k or slower? Noob. Um. Well. When 56k was around, I lived in Korea around that time, <laughs> so up. internet was not uh, an amazing thing. Yes. What, why would you think I'm lying? Uh, you're clearly born and raised in. Oh, not necessarily I was born, born in Korea. I came. To, in... I came to this in Canada, and like at age eight. So yes, I was born in Korea. Really? Wait, so you were actually born in South Korea and raised there yes. till you were eight years old? My my childhood was in korea i find this difficult That's... to believe because i don't know if you're lying okay man this is the problem don't believe me. okay don't believe so me. if that was the case where are you raised in uh, in korea this is this is seoul. interesting details to me seoul. seoul korea so so you were totally a soul so how does that like what do you what do you remember anything back then um see like the amazing thing about living in korea is like my dad's generation was basically the generation where korea went from like a third world country into a developed nation, right? Right. So it's like, even now, probably, because I haven't been to Korea since like, what, 04, 05, has changed a lot, apparently. So it's very different from Canada. Then again, it was a fucking huge city. So I guess it is different in many ways I from Canada. I don't remember that much from eight years old. I'd say from like, you reach that consciousness at like 10 or so. No, I have pretty vivid memories of some things that I've done in my childhood that were pretty embarrassing. So I do <laughs> remember a couple Shoot. things. Fuck you. No, nothing. You're not getting. Well, anything? I guess it's not that embarrassing, but like for some reason, this memory like strikes out. It was like when I was like five or six. I remember like holding my mom's hand going down the street, and then I had my eyes closed because I'm an idiot. And I'm like, oh, I'm holding my mom's hand and walking while my eyes are closed, and then. Um, and then my mom let go, and then I just kept on walking, right? And then I, I started, I started you know? trying to, no, 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 I started trying to grab my mom's hand back again. Uh huh. I, I, I grabbed her hand, and then she kept on pulling her hand away, right? Okay. I keep on grabbing her, and I started grabbing her legs, and then I opened my eyes, and it's just some random lady on the street, and my mom was like twelve feet behind me, and that's like the memory that I remember the most from childhood. I don't know why. Oh man, your mom trolled you. <laughs> yeah. Just looking at something through the window, and I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's just embarrassing as hell. And that lady just had this nasty look on her face, uh, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. Things that shape noob. Anyway. No, to be fair, my parents were kind of trolls. I'd say that. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. Okay. Do, do your turn. E- e- is it my turn? Something I like. Well, I just said internet, I guess. But that was also his. Hmm. You like I've, the internet. I've been, I've been piggybacking on all of your likes and dislikes. Um, I'd say, hmm, something I've been really thankful for this year. The Good oh. Harvest. The My good... family can now survive now for the winter. Or I guess you guys don't have winners there, so never mind. I know. I'm, I'm graduating at the end of this week. That's going to oh. be awesome. That oh is, wow! Yeah, congratulations. So oh. It's gonna be crazy. Yes. So uh, it, it's what's his face? I have to go to. I think I guess I have to go there because I have to hire the fucking probably I to, probably no no no, no. I, I, not before Friday. I have to go there because I have to get that the frock or whatever you call it. Like, I, I've forgotten 
Like, there's, there's parts of graduation that I hadn't thought about. Like, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get, like, the thing in my hand, then I'm going to walk out the door, <laughs> and that's going to be it, right? And then throw your hat. You forgot to get your cap and gown. <laughs> yeah, so I have, to, I have to go and get my gown, um, or dress as a frock, as I've been referring to it. And so I'm, I'm pretty sure I have to go there and get myself measured, or something like that, or something. Like, I, I know I've, I'm, we rent it from them. We don't buy them. Like, it's like 40 bucks or whatever it is to get, like, the hat the gown in the, the type you want and it's like a discount if you go early so i'm gonna have to go in monday morning um for my graduation on friday and get it then um so I, that's like something i never thought about like well i i don't want to, I, I i'm happy at home i don't want to go back into uni until friday but hey there you go so i have to also get a haircut and i hadn't thought about doing since what two months ago but i guess i kind of have to because i'm gonna get my photos taken and then uh, so that's, that's all building up to the ceremony then after the ceremony yeah, yeah. You don't need a haircut for your you totally, photos. You, to, you, you should totally see, need a photo. You like should see my ID for eyes. <laughs> I, wow. I'm, Actually, no, that's not, that's not like you don't – that is not a good example of you don't need a haircut because I'm bald. It's an example of you don't need to shave. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like, so that's, that's before the ceremony. That's leading up to the ceremony. And then after the ceremony, um, I, re I realized that I, I, I kind of want one of those plaques. Like I don't want just a fucking – like piece of paper signifying that i graduated like what are you guys thoughts like would you go for like the full frame like embossed and frame, frame? it but you, you would you just frame it or would you get one of those like things made like the metal mm. things see I, I don't like people who frame their things especially if they're like i remember <laughs> but everybody like, frames their diploma in yeah. like middle school That's like common. this teacher I one of my teachers slight difference between framed their and... bachelor degree on their classroom oh, and like right oh congratulations you got a bachelor's degree and you Dude, framed it in your classroom knowing oh, i've known a lot of teachers without a bachelor's degree so really yeah yeah. As a kid who has gone to private schools where you don't need a teaching degree i know a lot of teachers who don't have degrees yeah yeah, okay. I, well, our teachers were awesome. Like, those th some of the best teachers in Australia. Oh, yeah, but the teachers that didn't have the, didn't have the degrees were usually the best teachers. Yeah, they're really fucking good. And but yeah, I I I'd, I'd be full on respect if someone ha hung their bachelor's degree. So really? so for you, but, no, you wouldn't. I feel like it's a signify... nice keep, like I would keep it hung up at home. Would like, are you planning oh, I on hang getting it in it... my classroom? I might hang it in an office. I hadn't. Yeah. If it, w I wouldn't hang it in the classroom. Yeah, I wouldn't hang in the classroom. I, I, I'm planning on that's another that's something again I have not thought about. I was I wanted to get it like a nice thing done, but I have nowhere to put it. Like there's nowhere in my my room is filled from wall to wall with stuff. No matter where I put it, it's gonna get buried under other shit. So I don't know. Right. I don't, like if if I do it, maybe my parents would put it downstairs. But do I want my bachelor's degree hanging in my parents' house? Probably not. Hmm. No, you want to hang in your house. Why? Well, so, so the alternative is because the, the thing I was planning to get done. Uh, so I, I, immediately after you exit the ceremony, you, there's this these dudes who, if you give them your um, bachelor's degree, like the, the certificate thing, they take it, they make a, a scan of it, and then they send you like this metal plot, like this metal plot on like wood. Later, um, it's like hundred bucks or something like that to get that done. Um, and I was, I put aside hundred bucks, and now I'm thinking of just not doing it. I might just frame it. I, I might just make a fucking photocopy at whatever and just frame it. Um, but they look really nice. They're like a metal thing with with like the words like burnt into it and stuff as the equivalent. Like they take a scan, but they don't just like print that out and make emboss it. They they make like a cool sheet of metal that your things being put into. I mm, now I think about it, probably not. I might not do it. It might be a waste mm. of money. Like I I'm, I have nowhere to put that. So yeah, you're probably right. Thank it's, you. It's Nibirana. like a future keepsake. I guess, I, I guess, but couldn't you get one made in the future? What do you mean, like a future bachelor's degree? No, no, no. Because I, I'll still have the paper. I, I still. Oh, have I thought the you were like degree. ditching the paper, and I'm like, why? I, see, I, I thought that would be the case as well, but no, that doesn't make any sense. Like they just scan yeah. it and they give it back to you, and, and then you have that, and then you have this crazy other thing. So I can get the paper framed. Which is what Reverend You should says. digitalize it too. Get it scanned for sure. Yeah. For the future, man. The future paper. Yeah. No get paper in the future. Get both sides scanned. And then what? How do you. It's, it's an A4, right? Isn't it? I assume so. Is the bachelor's degree an A4 or is it, an a, like a big, is it bigger? It's definitely bigger. I, I don't know, man. I, I, I think they would probably put more consideration into those things than like regular letter paper. 
Well, yeah, but it's still not going to be like a three. It's not going to be that big. I'm just wondering if it'll fit in my fucking print like scanner. Like if it fits in my scanner, that would be pretty much optimal because I can just scan it at home and then just frame it and that'll be done. So I, I'll have both copies of it. Anyway, so I'm thankful for that. So there you go. I'm, I'm thankful for finally finishing uni. Putting that behind me. I don't think I'm ever going to do institutionalized education again. I'm totally done with that because it is hell compared to working and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm done. I, that, I, I'm, I'm sincerely thankful for finishing uni. Your turn. Oh, that sucks. Whose what? turn? Uh, well, I guess not new grammar. Well, I guess I haven't thanked anything yet because have you have you just complained? Yeah. Is that is that what you've done? Well, remember, I, I just said thank you for like thanking good thing happened to me or something like okay, that. Okay, go. All right, go. Go. What what, what are All you right, thankful I'd for? like to thank. Um, it, this. What do you uh, mean? I'd like to. Uh, I I said I think about it. But <laughs> You're I not really receiving an award. Okay, cool. All right, sure. Do, I, do I'd you like have anything? to be thankful for for stuff. Good happening is there to anything me. annoying you at the moment? Is there anything you're actively on? Oh, yes, for? there are so many things Go. that are actively annoying me. Like, for I example, to believe. the city of Toronto oh, and fuck you. all of the services oh, it provides. Right. So, fuck real you. things. I thought you were going to talk about your video game. All right. So, what, what, what was it? So, what are you not thankful for? I am not thankful for the TTC, the public transportation service. I'm not thankful for. Wait, so I'm why? Not thankful why are you not thankful for the public transportation service? What did they do wrong? What you know what's the nicest you? thing is when like you're you're waiting for the bus, right? And this bus comes every like five, seven minutes, right? Yeah. And then so you, you get out expecting to get to wherever you need to go. Mm -hmm. Um, assuming that the bus will properly that, come in that's time. That's what buses do. But you do, will still probably. leave time for like because let's be honest, nothing comes perfect. So yeah. you leave time maybe fifteen minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Fifteen minutes early. But instead, that bus takes thirty minutes to arrive, and they have five buses arriving every thirty minutes instead of one bus every five to seven oh, minutes. Who does that's, shit? That's pretty crappy. Who does that? That you can't blame that on traffic. You cannot blame that on traffic. <laughs> you are lying to me. And then you know what's the worst part what? is those. You're waiting for those buses, and you're waiting for like so. 15 minutes, you see a bus in the distance. And you're like, okay, finally, the bus is here. You know what that bus says? It says, sorry, not in service. Oh. Passenger stop by. <laughs> and then you can almost imagine the driver looking at you with the middle finger up saying and smiling. So wait, I, because, so are you blaming this on the world or on, on these guys specifically? Do you think they uh, could do a better oh, job? You know what? We need a revolution in public transportation. You know? Mussolini's Italy made oh, the trains fun. And I think I think we need a Mussolini running the <laughs> DC. No man, look, buses don't go on time. Line them up against the wall, kill one bus truck. <laughs> and so the buses will start running on time. I'm just saying. Because... Or you'll have no bus drivers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that, man. Those guys they're they have like really terrible power trips too, sometimes. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Totally. It's like you would see a real bad power trip, look up Cleveland bus driver uppercut. Oh. Holy shit! I've not seen that. Is that it sounds is that crazy. Epi is that epic uh, beard guy? No, beard this bus driver punches this chick out of the bus. Oh my god, that's crazy! So power trip, but like the worst power trip is like there's this white line, and then if there's so many people that the bus can't like Told take people more. in, yeah. they mm -hmm. have to be within this white line. Yeah, and this white line is positioned in a way that there's obviously so much more room people can fit and <laughs> still be safe. Yeah, but and then. You you go into the bus, right? And the bus is like somewhat full. There's a lot of space at the back, but people are like clustered around the front because people are fucking idiots and they won't let me on the bus. <laughs> and then you get <laughs> you get to the bus and then you're like standing and there's like, sorry, you need to get off. I'm like, what? And it's like, you know, you're past the white line, so you need to get off the bus. Or and then I'm just like, dude, there's so much space. Just just let me wait. And then he's like, you know what? This bus and then he goes on his stupid microphone and says, This bus will not move. Oh until my every god. Time line and i'm like why <laughs> this is this is well, eight in the morning people have places to go on a weekday oh man oh, noob you know what you have to do you stand there until either he throws you off the bus or people start moving <laughs> <the> people do. <laughs> i don't know yeah, there's a third, people, there are many other options there <laughs> you could just people, die you people are like oh people in canada are so nice and like they're so friendly. Not at, not at eight not in the morning. No one's nice at eight in the morning. <laughs> when you hear people, there have I've been in buses where there are like verbal fights with swearing going on between ladies. Wow. I've seen people pull knives out on a bus. <laughs> it's the worst thing. 
I hate public transportation. And public fuck tra- you. Public, tra- public transportation is awful. That's the, yeah. There you go. That's part true. Is you pay for public transportation like through public money, right? So through taxes, mm-hmm. but they still charge you up the ass for fares. <laughs> Why? I'm I'm pretty yeah. sure I'm I'm pretty sure that part of the math at least checks out. Like they their operating costs are pretty high to get those buses moving. But no, I, I I'm I'm totally with you. I'm pretty sure public transportation is a problem. Many people have. Hey. I can't I can't wait to see what they raise the New York bus or uh, the New York transit fees to to fucking pay for all the damage Sandy did. Right. Oh, but dude! That's, for them having that, to for, that's, that's for like them having to flood all of those tunnels. Oh, jeez, that's yeah. And you know what the worst thing is? Is these workers just go on strike all the fucking time. <laughs> Why? <laughs> to raise your bus fees, man. That, that's what it's all about. Damn. Damn. They want more pay, these so you need to pay public, more. Public bus drivers have ridiculous amount of benefits. Or public transport people. These people who sit in front of the ticket booth just staring into the distance have, like, ridiculous <laughs> amount of benefits. It's ridiculous. I don't uh, know. I don't know. But they oh, also fuck. have lost their soul because they've been, they sit in front of that thing. They, yeah, they have pretty much the worst job. I, I, no, not the worst I, job, but up there with bad jobs. Up there. Up there with prostitution because yeah. basically that's what you're doing. Selling yeah. I guess it's not your body. It but. goes, do you stay off distance at the bus ticket line? Prostitution. That's how it goes, right? That's slavery. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Either way, I don't feel pity for any of those assholes. I don't because either. To be honest, no. Well, some of them are... Nope. Like, see, when you meet a nice pu- public service agent, it just, like it makes your whole day better. Like, you just, but that's, the problem there is, it's so rare that you meet any nice I feel like that's service. oxymoron. <laughs> nice public servant. <laughs> Come on, let's be honest. No. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I've never had a, too much of a problem with bus driver because I, I think the worst I've had was this one bus driver who kept coming around at my stop at a specific time. Like, I, I, I won't go into it. Fuck it. But the point is... No, no, go, go into it. Go into it. Spew your hate. Of, no, no, no. no. I, I won't go into the specific place and timing oh, okay. of this bus. Okay, okay, Um, But the dude himself, uh, this is the worst I had. So it's actually really not that bad. But it really pissed me off. Every time I got a ticket from him, because there's a while in, in high school where I'd lost my like free pass ticket thing. Um, wait, do you guys have that where you can yes, do public? Yes. Yeah. It's, okay. Well, no, no, no. It's different here. It's like you you can buy a student fare, right? But right, you need to yeah. buy another student card to buy the student fare. So you pay money regardless. For us, it's just you get free tr- public transport as a student. Really? Yeah. Why? Really? Why don't we have we that? Get in high we, get it, yeah. we get it. At a, we get it as a discount. Yeah, we, we, we it's just as a discount. Like, you're supposed to only use it between your home and your school, and you can't use right. it on Saturday and Sundays. Okay, that's but then okay, no. it's free. It's entirely free. Um, so yeah, so I, I, for there's a while I lost that, and it, so up until what year nine or year ten of high school, I had not been accustomed to speaking to the guy, like the bus driver guy. Um, mm. and, and so it was an interesting, interesting transition to moving to a world where I may have to speak to them to buy tickets. And consequently, st- since then, we no longer do that. So we, you have to pre-purchase tickets now. But um, so at the time, I, he was the first guy who insisted, he absolutely insisted he would not do, do it until I did for me to say, please. Every time oh, I asked him, my God. Oh, my God. I would tell him to suck my dick, I would fucking walk. <laughs> that is the <laughs> biggest... Oh, no. That's the worst thing. <laughs> um, yeah, that so sounds that's, like the worst thing. That, that's about as bad as it got, but that guy pissed us. Sh- oh, my that, God. That is, that's actually probably... You can't do that. I feel like you can't do that. You just can't do that. You can't insist on me. Some sort of war or work regulations. Like, you, you, that's like abuse. What? Uh, you're you abusing your customers slash passengers. By asking right. to say please, um, yeah. So he would just like sit there and just wait. Like I'd say, hey, can I have my ticket to? Because we've met before. I've been on this bus for the last couple of weeks at the same time, the same place. You know where I'm going. Well, he probably doesn't, but y- you've seen my face before. Um, right. I ask, I, I, I need to stop at this place. And he's like, and he just sits there and stares at me and just waits <laughs> and just waits for me to say please. I'm like. Please. And eventually... Well, why, why do you even need to talk to him? You just get on the bus and wait to get to the next stop, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, but I, I'm buying this. This is the time when I lost my public pass. Oh, right, okay. I'm so I had to buy, buy a ticket. Right. Um, so it got to the point where I, I I did that for about a week, and I was like, no, I'm done. And then from then on, I just started pre-purchasing all my tickets, which is 
Yeah. That, that's so, smart. so much better. When I would have when I would have gotten my bus pack back, yep. I would have put a sticky note on it that said, How about you please go suck my dick and show <laughs> that to him? Right. That's probably oh, the right way to treat someone like that. <laughs> that just you can't do that. That's customer abuse. That's, that's bad um, service. That's see, that's terrible. not as bad. You should have so, called up. Yeah, like, it's it's in the end it's kind of it's weird because it's not evil to ask someone to say please to you, but at the same time, I feel like that's like who 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 does he think he is? Screw you, dude I'm with the mustache. Emperor of bus drivers. I'm the emperor of public transit. I demand you show me. Yeah, what? respect oh. the respect due yeah. to my station. <laughs> um, so what? So what else are you not? The respect due to his station is me not mooning him. When speaking I walk on the bus. of being, speaking of public servants and yep. being a terrible terrible thing mm-hmm. is, I guess. I guess this is kind of my fault for doing this in the first place. Is but I have like a internship at City Hall, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, you were really City excited Hall. when you got that. You were really excited about it. And then, and then now I realize that it was one of the worst decisions of my life. <laughs> and um, the thing Wait, is, wh- why? So I have to deal with people like me that are complaining about stuff like I'm complaining about right now. Okay. okay and well, a lot of these people are irrational so all right you need to outline for us what is your position in the city hall so basically i'm an assistant to one of the city councilors along with a bunch of other people okay. except i don't get paid right right so it's great I, and i feel um, like i've had this job before but i got paid <laughs> <laughs> and basically is i i dr- write emails i update the website with news articles about the counselor i take phone calls and then i talk to Do people tweet? within no, I don't do any of the social media stuff. But Wait, but there are um, people who do the social media stuff for that yeah, counselor? It, oh, are, that's weird, man. It's generally people who – it's actually the counselor himself who usually does it. So it's, oh, it's, not, nice. too weird. it's not like a celebrity kind of thing or like okay. a president kind of thing. So that that stuff he does himself. But um, uh, what was what was I saying? Right. So basically I get like complaints from the word dealing with like other branches of government or other counselors. I just take mail, database, et cetera. Right. And the people – who call into counselors. <laughs> it's like you have the regular people, normal, happy people living yeah. in the ward. Uh-huh. They have no communication with government because yeah, they don't exactly. care. Because they're I've, living I've happy never lives. communicated with my government. Right. And then I've never you know the that. people who about 95% of these people are old people. They're probably senile and they hate <laughs> life. They want to just, just slow down everyday bureaucracy at City Hall and – that's what they do. They spam with emails like "my water isn't working" or stuff like that that people have no control over. I got a call, <laughs> about, and then this guy started yelling at me about a traffic jam because of a car accident, and I'm uh-huh. like, "I'm sorry, there was a car accident. That must be my fault." <laughs> oh man, I I don't, I don't like it. No. <laughs> See, that's why I didn't answer the phone. <laughs> the thing is, though, like. <sighs> I don't understand how people can complain to a city councilor because there was a car accident and the cars aren't moving or like there was a storm and the power went out and it's like, I demand the power come back on right now. That happened. Yes. Oh God. Hurricane Sandy, a lot of houses like lost power and then, though they weren't yelling, but like there were a lot of, Oh God, (laughs) I don't like I don't like dealing with people, and I think I picked the worst thing I can do by dealing with people. Uh, yeah. Like I, I spent what, it was four years of my life in the customer service role, like on weekends, and I will oh, never, God. ever go back. Well, I worked at IKEA, so it wasn't that paid, bad. Right? Yeah, um, we got paid pretty well, like above average. Like I think we were getting like twenty one an hour, twenty two an hour, or something like that. Um, for us, that's like two dollars above average, not that much, but yeah. Um. And, and uh, yeah, it would be like eight, nine hour shifts and stuff like that on weekends. And even then, I, the pe- people are nice. Like most people you meet are nice. The problem is the human mind isn't wired to remember nice people. No. So, <laughs> um, like, it's, if, wired, if, it's wired to remember the people you want to murder. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. <laughs> like uh, most of the time, I, I, if I look back, if I think back and really concentrate hard on it, I can maybe remember three nice people I dealt with. I can remember like 12 to 15, maybe like, more think about real bad. You don't remember people who's given you gifts. You remember people who've wronged you and that you want to take 
shit back from them. You don't exactly. care about those people who like saved your life one day. You yeah. care about those people who risked your life one day. Absolutely. So it's 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 one of those things where I I will never go back to customer service roles because I, I think I'm permanently scarred and damaged from my time there. Even though it wasn't that bad. Like if, if I think about it, yeah, it it could be much worse. And it seems the same for you. Like I see are there anyone you, who call you that are actually nice? Um or is it just like a complaints? Is it a complaints line? Like, is it like straight oh, up? This is what you call if you have a complaint. Also, working at that job made me like realize that there is so much drama between neighborhood associations. What you guys yes. know neighborhood yes. associations, right? Like, Wait, no, what? Oh, what? Friendly neighborhood, blah blah blah, Avenue Association, and there's just like going. I guess I probably shouldn't talk about this because this is probably confidential. But who gives a shit? <laughs> it's like all of ah, oh, it's just dealing with weird people Wait, that who either want. We don't like, have too much in the way of neighborhood organizations. So these are like these rich affluent areas, and they just basically organize meetings for the community discussing stuff, and then because like so it's like a club. It's kind of like a club, but except it's more it's accessible to everyone and it's like you just live in the area you can join and we decide things blah 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 and so like the city councilor obviously has his job to participate in the going ons of his ward and then you you have these weird back and forth emails about x area association you know like going against x area associations and then there's like conflict and drama and really? it's like watching a small drama show reading <laughs> Emails databasing. <laughs> so like you're why? reading text from high school. Girls. Uh, yes. <laughs> a, a really sad drama show where people are really yeah. trying to get laid. They're just really annoyed about their inconse- like inconsequential problems. Like, a senile old men. <laughs> like there are bigger problems in the city that have to be dealt with. Yeah, like, exactly. Budget issues, blah blah blah. <laughs> but no, deciding where we what we name this bench on a park. That's big decisions that needs to be made by the mayor or something uh, like that yep anyway anything else yeah, kind of- anything else want to get off your chest i, I like this so you, you can oh you can i go can get off it. more off of my chest what, what anything else you're not thankful for in Nibarama? um internet service or any sort of tech technology service that goes on in canada is just honestly the worst thing in the world it's the worst thing in the world what what so, why for internet here, so like I said, it's like 1.4 megabytes when I'm down. I don't know the yeah. megabits anymore because I stopped giving a shit a long time ago. Okay. But blah, 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 really slow upload speed, like 256 kilobytes per second when I'm uploading stuff. Yeah, that's very slow. For me. Yeah. 60 and a bandwidth cap of 90 gigabytes for 60. Oh, geez. Or more than I'm on Unlimited. So. Yep. For more than $60 a month. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Right? Okay. See uh-huh. how messed up that is? Uh-huh. And then you'd expect them to give you good service, good customer service. Mm-hmm. You know what happens? They cut your internet whenever they want. And then they're and then you call them and then some person from Bangladesh or India Wait, or Wait, which company are you with country. for anyone out there who's in Bell Canada? Bell Internet. Bell phone. Is that like Bell the phone biggest one? because no one uses home phone. Uh, Rogers and Bell are probably tied, but I'd say Bell has might have an edge. I don't know. Rogers right. is cable. Bell is using the telephone line, etc. Okay, so yeah. so you're so, you're with the copper the copper wire guys. Yes, and I'm. I guess I get fucked in the ass regardless of which way I go. So <laughs> just stay where I'm getting fucked in the ass and yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which one uses going? more lube? Yeah, yeah, which because because it's already made an imprint in my anus. So it, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, but um, just right, don't so, prolapse. Just don't prolapse. People. You just call these people with in India and Bangladesh who mm-hmm. just simply don't. They're like, "Have you tried restarting your?" They router? just don't care. Tried. Uh, you like, they don't cycling. care. They're there to just say what's on the script and yeah. just say, "Have you restarted your router? Have you tried doing this, this, yeah. this?" And then you call them and tell them, "Yes, I've done this. I've done this before." Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Why is my internet service out? And then for. Like an entire week, the shit goes on. Internet service keeps on going on and off, and then nothing happens. No, they do nothing, and then until it just magically fixes itself. So two the crazy weeks thing later. is, like, I have a cousin who's in India, and all her friends um, were well, not all of them, but a significant portion of her friends. Like the thing to do for college students in um, India, at least in Bangalore, not, not Bangalore, probably, and, and probably. Um, Mumbai, Mumbai as well, uh, but I'm not sure about Mumbai. Definitely Bangalore, um, which is one of the big techs 
like cities in India. It's actually pretty awesome. But um, the proof's the biggest thing to do at, for any high school, or high school or university or equivalent college student there is to be at a call center because it's easy money essentially um and there's this infinite work like there's just always openings for call center places right. opening in, in india and she just told yeah she, like it's just a thing it's just a fact of life that people there students work at call centers it's just what you do it's like what you all your friends do to a large extent um and and, and they, they don't give a shit like they, they literally just go there for easy money that's what all can you do for. if you get bad service from someone in a call center yeah nothing nothing what do you do you call their manager do. you can't exactly yeah. what do you do call the I call center all... <laughs> i i have asked for a manager before and gotten substantially better service oh yeah definitely because look well the the um the the through line for all of these places like it's not just the ones in india but like uh, restaurants or whatever else is that the, the grunts so the guys on the other end of the phone normally their job yeah. is to do the company line they have to stick to the company line um the managers though know that the company line is just bullshit it's just the easiest way to save money um and- but as so they can do whatever the fuck like they they want it like it's it, it's it's like you can get discounts by talking to managers if you want yep. to um if you want to be that guy to be honest but yeah so uh, it's it's kind of sad because to some extent like these guys um are the the, the guys getting in the shit and getting like people screaming at them that kind of stuff um but yeah. the, the other side of it they're jerks like so fuck it what whatever yeah. they're, they're, and they're getting paid higher than average in that area i i know like compared to other jobs you can do in bangalore at least like two years ago a call center job was like cushy and high paying as a, as a college student and and very low hours and comparatively too. way less work right yeah like way, way less work yeah. so they they don't give a shit they, they they don't care and if you ask to talk to their manager you will inevitably get better service that's that's like the key that revenue hit upon um i it's, it's it's kind of crazy though because I, I hate to say it, but I will definitely, definitely. I, I, these words have come out of my mouth. Can I speak to a white person? Oh, see, <laughs> I can never I have say said that, that because out loud. You just can't because the call centers are in India, so, and also the, the, I don't want to be that guy. So what happened to me? That guy was I was I ordered this, the monitor I'm currently staring at. So the Dell monitor. Um, and I, this was like four years ago. Um, so I ordered it from there was, there was a sale and it was like forty percent off, like some crazy thing. Um, so I ordered it and they had like. So I, I put money through, I put my all, all my information in, I put my um, coupon in and all that kind of stuff. And the first time it went through, it just didn't register on the site. So my money was taken from me. And, oh, wow. Uh, but, yeah, that's off. But like the, the, and an email was sent to me with the transaction ID. But if I asked anyone about that transaction ID or tried to look it up on their site, it just wouldn't show up. Um, so I called them and... I just kept putting through to the same fucking customer service people. I, I called them one day and said, oh, it's not a problem. I'll put it down. It's going to be fixed or the equivalent in Indian speak. And yeah, and so I'm Indian, so I can say this. I can say this because I'm Indian. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> See, um, like the thing he says, I want to speak to a white person, but none of us here are white. Yeah, just to none make of us here clear. are white. Um, Reverend none Black, I'm white. Indian, and yeah, noobs. I'm yellow. I'm yellow. Um, so... Like I, I talked to them, and that's what ha- that's what they give me one one day, and and then I call them like two days later, and it's the same thing. And I wait a whole week of calling them every other day. So I guess what well, what's that? Three calls, four calls, and, and oh, here's how I would have done. I would have just flagged my fuck. I would have flagged that purchase on my credit card and said, "Don't give them oh, that no, money." I, yeah, I already did that. Like, I I did that, and and then I I put in a second call, and I had to, I just I was. After like three calls, I did that specifically. It was a PayPal thing, so I think I was like, "Fuck it!" I just opened a dispute with PayPal and PayPal started sorting it on their end, uh, and then I bought the monitor again, and the second one went through fine, so it was in the system and stuff. So I, but I was just, I was just calling them up to make sure that they had gotten my dispute through PayPal and that kind of stuff. Um, so you know, like eventually, I got so pissed at the continual, like just complete failure of all the people I'd sp- spoken to there that I, I straight up, yeah, the words came out of my mouth. Can I speak to a white person? And then there what was silence. Say? And then I was like, um, I, I will put you through my manager. I, I, I talked to their manager. I was like, yeah, can I speak to someone in the United States or Australia? Someone actually knows what the fuck they're talking about. 
And he was like, okay. And then minutes later, an Australian lady picks up the phone. Everything's sorted. Five minutes. Are you it's serious? Just, just five you minutes. Everything's sorted. You can ask that here. Guess what happens? You get put on hold. <laughs> Forever. Well, yeah. I, I, I guess that's their, that's, their, that's their like shield and their sword. The hold. Oh, that thing. But yeah, it, 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 I, I know. And from then on, um, my friend gave me the pro tip. You should order things through the business side. Because then you get people who actually give a shit. Right. It's because they're earning money and they care. Yeah. The, uh, la- the last time I ever had to deal with customer service was when the first time my Xbox Red Ring. And <laughs> yep. I was so glad when they made that an automated thing on their website. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, man. Anyway, I'm sorry to any other Indians out there I'm offended, but fuck you. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Revan, I think. Uh, you've done a couple yeah. of noobs. Do you have anything you're thankful slash not thankful for? Or should we wrap this show up? We're at an hour. We weren't planning to go too long. Do you have anything? We can probably. Uh, well, I did thankful the first time. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm not thankful for the amount of work I'm going to have to do in the next two weeks because I have two 10-page papers to write. Oh, well, that's a two 10-page ba- papers. What? What? I don't really feel like doing it. <laughs> that's the real problem here, isn't it? I, yeah, that's the real wish problem. wish you were motivated to do these crappy papers. <laughs> I assume they're crappy. What do you do again? You're a law student, right? Or is it... uh, criminal justice? I haven't been to law school yet, so right. I still have that to deal with. Oh man, that's again. That sounds incredibly interesting to me, but also it could be incredibly boring. I don't know. Would you say it's interesting or boring? I, I hope it's interesting. Uh, do you like to read a lot? Because because <sighs> if not, it's boring. I, I do like to read a lot, but I'm terrible at remembering random facts, so I'd probably be really bad at it. <laughs> See, I'm pretty good at remembering useless random facts. Okay, sure. So is that like, good or bad? Does that work out? It'll be, help- it'll be helpful at some point, I assume. <laughs> so far, you're not really feeling the dividends, but maybe they'll come no. through at some point. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, oh, man, uni was great. I, I I'll never do it again, uh, but it's great. Like, are, are you still in the, the phase where you hate uni, or have you started liking uni again? I like it. Yeah, I don't have a roommate. That's why I like it. I don't have oh, people I, shit to deal with. I, I didn't... We don't... I'm, well, I assume some people in Australia are bored, but the majority of people in Australia are dead bored. They just, they just commute to uni. Um, that, it's a combination of unis being good oh. here and people not giving a fuck. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I've never had a board. I, I've never boarded with anyone, ever. I, I, I don't think I could stand any other person um, living in the Here it's more like um, most a week people before just... I had to move out last term, or oh. sorry, before my summer term, I threatened to kill my roommate. <laughs> wow. Like, what happened? You should now. You should describe this. Yes, so, you, should, I, you should give us the nitty gritty. Just like a build up of all the shit he had done. <laughs> Wait, okay. Gotta so, explain all the shit, man. Is this a mutual thing? Are you both jerks, or is he? The, are, are you going to paint this? Are you going to portray this as if he's the jerk? I want to portray this as if he's the jerk because okay. he caused me to fail an exam because he locked me out of the room and oh, I couldn't study. Oh shit! Oh man! Oh. Uh, that, that's, so did you that's kill him? I think you should, that's that's a legitimate reaction. That's You're a criminal no. justice. Law. According to criminal justice law, in my books, that is illegal <laughs> and reasonable. In right. the Ramis world, <laughs> I was actually. I told him, "Leave me alone," because you're messing with the criminal justice student who will go through every <laughs> law he can find to find a way to make killing you justifiable. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh man! So, so oh, I have... are you still with the same roommate? Or does that change no. every... Okay, cool. That's changed. Okay, good. That's good. Well, do, do you have to apply for something like that? Or does this change every semester or whatever? Uh, you can apply. You can, you can set it up so you live with the same people every time. All right. But so you, you clearly didn't. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you're like I, your new, so you're thankful I for purpose, your new I purposely roommate. made sure I was in a different building. Yeah, man. So wait, does he did he do the same thing as you? Probably not, right? What? Like right, same degree or whatever? No, he wants to be a teacher. Great. That that's just fantastic. That's the I have you guys found it weird that the cutoff or the equivalent like difficulty of getting to a teaching degree is so low? It is so much easier to get into a teaching degree than mm-hmm. pretty much any important degree. Like, um here in the United States, if you go to a, if you go to a private school and you have any kind of degree, you can be a teacher. <laughs> wow, I'm pretty sure it was like that here until um, 
I think it was like 2008 or something like that. Because I read up on they this. Were, I feel like they would pref- – I think from what I've been told, they prefer you to have a degree in the subjects you are going to be teaching. Yep. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Absolutely. But, you know, it's a preference. They're fine with it either way. <laughs> oh, I, I had a like a high school math teacher – for my first year who uh, majored in environmental sciences and taught English. Great. Was he good? He was actually a great English teacher. Dude, I, he was like I, really funny. Again, it totally fits that the guys who are clearly not qualified for their positions no. are usually the best. Um, for us, it was our, my maths teacher, Mr. Hesp to give him a call out for anyone else who went to Sydney boys. Hi, uh, I doubt anyone else is listening to this, but Tarkin. anyway, um, <laughs> Tarkin. Yeah. Hi Tarkin. What's up? Um, he was, I think a chemical engineer. He worked in Saudi Arabia. He's like a white dude, like a white ass, like pale white with red hair. Um, so clearly just like that kind of origin. He's Irish. So that, that yeah, that's Scottish art, that, that kind of like origins. Um, but he is like, he lived in Australia, previously worked in Saudi Arabia and is Muslim. Um, and he was, Whoa, what? I, yeah, that's, that's di- different. Exactly. Wow. I didn't um, expect that coming out from a Irish. Absolutely. And he's person. like, well-spoken. He always wore a bow tie, specifically a bow tie. And, um, I, I'm, Bill Nye the science guy. I'm not making this up. And, um, yeah, well, sometimes it came with like a proper tie, but that would be like after, like in the new year, because his like daughter and shit would give him like a, a proper tie. And he'd always wear it a couple of times and then go back to his mm. red bow tie or whatever. Um, and yeah, he was like a chemical engineer teaching math. And this is like difficult math. It was what we call four year math. So like um, high end stuff, like, like like proper, proper ass calculus and like all the crap. Anyway. Um, God, I hated calculus. I loved calculus. It was like easy marks for me. It was only, it was really only thing. I hate math. math in general. <laughs> I like math, except anything that has to do with actual numbers. He was a great math teacher. What do you mean? E- just shut up. Yeah. I hate you. I was like, so you, I like, I like two, drawing graphs. So it's two non-math oriented people and one math oriented people here. Is that is that what we're saying now? I guess so, because one's doing a criminal criminal justice, the other one's working at the city hall. So. I guess you aren't particularly mathy. Oh, guys. god damn it! Anyway, with the, anything else, any, it, well, we should wrap I, this I, up. I do have I have one plus from working at City Hall is I get this nice card that says City of Toronto and then Council Staff and then it has my picture and name, and uh, that's all I got out of it. <laughs> did, did you I scan it? Because you're gonna have to pick up, give that back. You know you're gonna have to oh. give that back. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say this right now. The number of times that I've worked in places that are giving me ID, I have not given the ID back. <laughs> I'm just gonna say I lost it, so mostly I can, like, because go into the they're not because basically they're not oh, asked for that ID back, so I can still walk into some government headquarters. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm planning for because basically you need this to because there's like this really sick glass wall with like the scanner, and then there's like a person receptionist and everything to get to the council different chambers. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this like keep this so one day when I just go nuts, city hall is gonna be the first place I go with the machete. Or <laughs> of something. course, of course, yep. And with that, th- th- thank you for listening. I, 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 this is going to go off. If you've off gone after. this far. Yeah. For some reason, you've listened to us talk about random shit for an hour. Um, I, thanks. I'd encourage everyone to send in by mail all of the very hateful things that they have. Yeah. Because. Oh, yeah. Just tell us what you hate. Tell us what you love. Yeah. Tell us what you hate. Um, are I mean, you I thankful? We should, we should probably read the best ones. The ones that are if just we get any. filled. If we get any, but I, I would we, love for people to send us some. Um, if you're still out there, tell us what you hate. I, I specifically hate. I, I don't. I don't really want to know that you love your new daughter and everything's awesome in your end. That's fine. I'm. Th- how much great. you hate your I, new daughter and how much you want to drop kick her out of a third floor? That building. I want to hear. Like I, exactly. <laughs> so like if, you, if if everything's nice for you, I've, I'm so happy for you. But I do not give a shit. You can go um, fuck off because yeah, I'm sad. You can, you can fuck off. Um, I'm, I'm telling you, man, the only way I'll be happy is by keeping everyone sad. That way I'll be the happiest person in the world. And that's my that's my maximum. Bro. Well, you'll never right? be the happiest person in the world because there will always be some like five-year-old kid who has hope. Whose skull needs to be crushed. <laughs> and who he's is the now one. on the witness stand after being um. molested. <laughs> they break down. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, oh. send us send us your hate mail and or things you hate. Um, not both are fine. Sure. 
Uh, Complain about this podcast and how we wasted your time by not talking about Guild Wars 2. Oh, we should, uh, did we say that at the top? I'm pretty, yeah, we said that at the top. It's fine. If think, they're still listening, they yeah. know what they're getting into. Um, and aside from that, yeah, that have, ha, I'm, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving weekend. And for the people who didn't have a happy Thanksgiving weekend because they didn't have Thanksgiving, hey, we are like you. High five. High five. Good stuff. Fuck you, America. Fuck it's you. It's really hot in Australia. Oh, my God. Um, it's cold in Canada. It's also dark and nighttime. I hate the weather in fucking Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia because it gets real, real cold in the winter, and then the summers are just unbearable. Oh, man. I went to D.C. like in the summer a three, like a couple years ago, and it was really warm. Also, buildings are big in D.C. That's pretty cool. 